Well, welcome back for another installment in our on-demand training series for Microsoft Dynamics CRM version 4.0. My name is Randall and in this lesson I'm going to take you through the process of building a CRM report in Microsoft Office Excel. You know, everything that we do CRM related happens right with seamless integration in Outlook, but we also have seamless integration with the other components of Microsoft Office, so Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. In this particular session, we're just going to focus in on Excel and PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is, is show you how we go out and build a report in Microsoft Excel based on CRM data. And then we can take elements of that report and run over and copy that into Microsoft PowerPoint. Some pretty powerful technology. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump over to Microsoft uh, Outlook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an opportunity pipeline report. So what I'm going to do is over here in my CRM folder tree, I'm going to drill down into sales and opportunities. At the top of my screen, you'll notice that I have a little Excel icon right here. So I'm going to click that. Instead of just dumping out this raw data to a static worksheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Excel build a dynamic pivot table for me. And I can come in and I can select what columns I want to take over into Excel with me for analysis. So for example, if we're going to build a sales pipeline report, we want estimated revenue. We want to know who the owner of those opportunities is within our system. So these are the standard types of fields that we would want to take out into a pipeline report. Not only can I pull fields out of the opportunity entity in CRM, I can go out into any other related entity and pull fields. So for example, before this was ever an opportunity in our CRM system, it was a sales lead. So I can go back to that original sales lead field, or excuse me, record, and pick the field that I want to take out with me. So let's go ahead and let's grab the lead source field. And I'll say OK. And we'll go ahead and export. We'll open that file in Microsoft Excel. We're going to tell Excel that we trust the data. And you'll see that CRM working with the, in Excel now is going to go out and start to build this report shell for me. Now, if you haven't worked with pivot tables before, this is very, very simple. It's all drag and drop. So, for example, let's say that I want to know uh, the lead source. So I'm just going to drag and drop that over here. And how much revenue do we have associated with those lead sources? So this would be a report that would show me how well... Uh, I'm getting a return on the marketing dollars that we invest. And I can come up here and I can turn this into a pivot chart. And so you can see in less than a minute, I'm starting to build a pretty powerful report. Now I can select, so for example, I've got some things in here that I might not want to report on, so I can always just come over here and weed things out. I don't care about anything that's blank. And let's say that I don't care about anything that came through uh, that particular search engine and just on the fly we're changing our report. I can also completely start over. We'll get rid of the, the chart shell there. And this time, let's say that I want to take the owner of the opportunities and the estimated revenue. Okay, I'm going to drop in a chart again. This time we'll do another pie chart. Okay, now you'll see that what it's giving me here is a count of the opportunities and that's really not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is a sum so I can come over here to my values and I can say that my value field settings should be the sum and not a count. And now I'm looking at actual revenue dollars. And because now I'm working in Microsoft Excel I've got all of the really neat tools that I uh, typically would have. So for example looking at my chart I can come in and I can apply some really nice styles to the chart. Okay. So you can see in a very short period of time, we've built a pretty compelling report. All I have to do is save this, print it out, show it to people who really care about it, and let's say that a couple of weeks go by and somebody comes back down and they want to see that report again. Well, all I have to do is come in and start Microsoft Excel, open that file, and as soon as I try and do anything with it, I'm going to get a warning that I don't have the most recent data. So all I have to do is come up to my data tab and click the refresh from CRM button. Now my credentials for CRM are baked into this Excel workbook. So even if I'm offline, even if I'm logged out of CRM, it will still go out and grab current data from the CRM system and bring it into this report. 
let's say that my boss tells me that I have uh, about 20 minutes and they're going to want to see this uh, report in the form of a presentation. So I can go ahead and I can copy this chart. Let's run over and fire up PowerPoint. And we'll change the layout of this slide to be just a title. And we'll come up and let's paste that chart now. We're going to paste special and paste it as an office graphic. And so now, even if I'm in Microsoft PowerPoint here and I start changing my theme and my design or I have to make, make it match what somebody else has done, I can come up and you'll notice that as we're designing the slide layout, even as I change the design, my chart colors and everything will change with it. So I can do some resizing here. Maybe I don't want that there. I can just put the, the uh, chart title up here. And maybe I want to make my legend a little bit larger here. So what I've shown there is just seamless integration between Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft CRM, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Now there are some other related videos back on our website. Now there are some other related videos back on our website including building a custom report in Microsoft CRM using the SRS SQL Report Builder, building custom views, and seamless integration with Microsoft Office Word where we'll go out and we'll show you how to do a mail merge and those types of things. I invite you to visit our website in particular the downloads page where we have lots of current information uh, user documentation, and even the latest software to be downloaded to support the implementation of Dynamic CRM 4.0 in your company. Thanks again for stopping by. We look forward to working with you soon.